guys, this is Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick yoga break. So we are going to focus on the lower half of the body. Just take a couple minutes out of your day. You don't have to change, you don't have to go anywhere. In this video, if you can, we'll stand up and use our chair a little bit, but if you can't stand up for whatever reason, um, if you're on an airplane or something, just kind of make some modifications. I just want you to stretch out your lower body. So let's get started, three breaths. So take a pause here and focus on the next five minutes. So breathe in through your nose, hold it at the top. Exhale through your mouth. Let this breath just kind of calm you and ground you. And just let go of everything else around you right now. Two more breaths. For these next couple minutes, can you just continue to breathe steadily and deeply in and out through your nose? And go ahead and cross your left ankle over your right knee for a little hip stretch here. So start to press your knee down toward the floor. If you can have the space and want to hinge forward. Come all the way back up. Hug your knee into your chest. Sit up tall. Compression for your left hip flexor. Okay, if you have the space, just take your peace fingers around your big toe and then start to straighten your leg. So I actually will try and make the space in my car to do this if I'm on a little road trip. Try to lift your leg to straight, feels so good to stretch. But if you're on an airplane, you might not have room to make that stretch, no worries. Okay, and then release from here, switch sides. Take your ankle over your knee first, press your knee down. Maybe hinge forward. Release, take hold of, or sorry, um, hold, hug your knee into your chest. Tight, tight compression if you can. Okay, peace fingers around your big toe. Start to straighten it, maybe it's just a little bit. Alrighty, and from here, go ahead and scoot a little bit further forward on your chair. And this might not look like a big movement wherever you are. You can place your hands behind your back if you want. And just lift your feet up off, your, off the floor. Okay, even if you can barely see it and you're just doing this, activate your core, okay? If you have a little more space, you can reach your arms forward, maybe reach your legs forward to hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Take your feet to the floor, extend them long. Hinge forward, stretch. Okay. One last compression for both hips. Draw your knees into your chest. Tight, tight, tight squeeze. It's actually a good upper, up, upper back stretch as well. And release. Okay, if you can stand up and move aside of your chair, we're gonna take a quadricep stretch. So just bend your left leg. Take hold of your foot from the outside. Stand up tall. Okay, switch sides. Good. Put your um, right foot on your chair and then just begin to straighten it. Hinge forward, it's kind of like a half splits position. Switch sides. All right, and from here, go ahead and keep your toes and heels together and just squat down. And stretch for your inner thighs. Stretch for your feet, your toes. You can lift your hip, 
heels a little bit higher, spread your knees a little bit wider. And release, okay? If you weren't able to get out of your chair for that um, quadricep stretch, you can just take one leg under you at a time, okay? Like so. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Proceed with your workday, have a great day, and I'll see you on your mat when you get off of work. Namaste.